Did I do my best job? Yes. Did I compliment? Yes. Did I nut? Instantly. You yeah. got to do the, the boxes. Dude, you're fucking like an Excel spreadsheet, bro. Hey, yo, what is up, dude? Yo. Big news. Big news. What's the big news? Uh, maybe the fact that we're starting a Patreon. A Patreon? <laughs> Patreon. You've heard of it. And if you haven't, now you have. Pretty much what it is going to be on October 9th. What day is it? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three. October 9th. If I was a Patreon, what would I be? On October 9th. 9th. That's going to be my birthday. October we're, 9th. We're born. Virgo? I don't know what season it is. You're cancer. Cancer? I think that's wrong. Who knows? Capricorn, Leo, Gemini, in and out McDonald's. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, here's the thing. We're starting a Patreon. And what is that going to get you? It's okay. So $5 a month. That's the cup. Coffee is less. That's. Cheaper than a cup That's of coffee. Cheaper than a cup of coffee. What we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you an extra episode a week. So, that so is, wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, okay. So you get two episodes in a week. You get two episodes in a week. So two times four is two. I don't know. Eight. Eight. I had a little bit of Adderall left over in my brain to do that one. You're gonna get eight episodes in a month, bro. That's crazy. Eight episodes for what? How much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars a month. A month. Just one Th month. Think about. Think about that double bacon cheeseburger you just bought at Carl's Jr. Mm-hmm. Cheaper than that. Cheaper than that. That was like nine bucks, and you regretted it. And what do you get? You get four extra episodes a month. That's four more hours of stiff socks. Y'all been asking for it, so what are we going to so do? So many socks. We're going to give it to you. So, yeah, October 9th, we're going to launch. Uh, there will be a link for the pre-sale on the YouTube, and we'll put it in our Instagram bio, but check the description on the YouTube because it'll say in there, like, here's where you get the pre-sale. But here's the thing about it. Please, please. It's this a tight community. This is what we wanted. Trevor and I were talking. We want uh, a small community of Stiff Socks biggest fans. So biggest. So how many patrons are we allowing? Only three thousand. Only three thousand. Only three thousand. That's it. So once we hit that cap, you're out. That's the Boom. cool, cool kids club. All right. So uh, you listen. Be in the club or not? Yeah. Well, you know, you know, up, dude. like a big line outside the club, and you're like, oh, I wish I can get in. Don't be that dude. Be in the club. Be in the club. Patreon. Three thousand. October 9th. Boom. That was cool. We didn't add for ourselves. That's pretty cool. Are we gonna get paid for that? I, I don't know. I hope. Maybe maybe like two people sign up. I, I'm gonna sign up personally. Are you Dude, gonna sign I'm up? Gonna, there's two people already. Yeah. Gabe, you gonna sign up? Oh, he's yeah, no. That's three All people, right. bro. There's only <laughs> two thousand nine hundred ninety-seven spots left, bro. So get on in it. Dude, I saw something crazy driving over here. Huh. There was a guy who was making a left-hand turn at the light and he had a stick shift, I think, and he just had a full pop school in his mouth. <laughs> And I was like, dude, and I was like, you yeah. know, like, this is the worst. Who's driving a stick shift? Like, ah, oh, fuck, where my popsicle at? It's also oh, was like, it, was it Ronald McDonald? Who was it? It's just a weird looking dude. I don't know. But like, that's such a, like, it's so cold. And like, what if you're going to make the, le like, there's so many variables. What if he got T-bone? Now he gets deep throated by a popsicle. Bro is, <laughs> is he not cold? Like, do you not get brain freeze? I was just, I was like, what the fuck? I mean, you just see. So much weird shit driving. Bro, All you have to do is just look to your left. I would love to look in his car and the stick shift be another popsicle. Like it wasn't even oh a stick shift, it was automatic. He was just using a popsicle to I was, do it. I was just like, what? What? <laughs> what? That's... I mean, it's hot as fuck out. I'll give him that. It was like 105 out, but like. Yeah, his AC could have been broken. You don't know. Yeah. Also, drive a minute later and finish your popsicle. Popsicles do not take long to eat at all. Could be the worst food you could be eating in a car, probably. Did he have a white shirt on? Did he have a white shirt on? Mm, it was like a, I think it was like a beige white, like like a white shirt that's been worn a lot for like mowing the lawn. You know how those like lawn shirts kind of lose color? Yeah, and they all have like the yellow underneath the armpits. <laughs> yeah, 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 probably one of those. Dude, I uh, I always go no shirt mowing lawn. Yeah. No shirt or no shirt? I uh, don't mow the lawn. <laughs> okay, so, oh, uh, we got yeah. a rich guy. Oh, uh, uh, no, dude. Uh, you never mowed the lawn in your life? I have before. Um, was it was it one of your chores growing up? No, it wasn't. I, your chores I, I had up? indoor house chores, little bitch boy chores. Oh, I you was, a bitch, I was the, dude. I was the dishwasher and the dish loader. I was always, I always had to unload the dishwasher, and I fucking hated it. My mom would be like, Trev, and anytime the voice was that octave, Ooh. Trev, and I'm like, damn it, mom, look. You know what's so funny? As a kid, dude, like little tasks like that felt like they took oh. forty years. Oh my god, it was I was, like three minutes. I always had to take out the trash too. Trev, could you, could you take out the? Yeah. It was Take out the trash. How how long did that driveway feel? Oh, dude. Do you know what I mean? Oh, bro. I it, mean, two miles. I'd be like, let me just stop playing my Game Boy Color for all of two minutes, and you'd be like, just grunting the whole like, oh, God damn it, mom. I hated my mom. Really? Oh man. Like there was. Mo oh, I think all teenagers. Of course. Yeah. Dude, if there's like a teenager that were, that was like, no, nah, I kind of, I I kind of really uh, thoroughly enjoyed my mom. You've murdered people before. <laughs> right, right. You, I think you might have killed your mom. I think yeah. your mom is dead right now. I think you're wearing her skin. Yeah. I liked my mom when you were 16. What, bro? 
I'm sorry. Even the are you in a cult? Yeah, even the guy who had the cool mom didn't like his mom. Like the mom would be cool to everyone would be like, dude, Michael, your mom's the best. Do whatever. She's okay. Nobody was like, Yeah, she is. No, there's no way. Well, there 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 was those kids, but their moms were on like heroin. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, they're they're just like, like Yo, strung out. She's so chill, bro. She just only sits on the couch and just watches the prices right with like drool coming out of her mouth. She never tells me to do anything, never tells me to take the dishes out. Yeah. Nothing. The dishes out, Jesus Christ. Take the dishes out? Take the dishes out. <laughs> Michael, take the dishes out. What does that even <laughs> take the <laughs> fucking dishes out? I don't what is it? Maybe, mean? maybe that's what a heroin mom would say to do. Dude, I used to I used to cut all the corners because I hated vacuuming my room. Yeah. So I would just plug the vacuum into the wall and just let that bitch just sit in the spot and just go <laughs> for like five minutes and pretend I vacuum my room. That's then, pretty cool. But you could tell I didn't vacuum because just one square would be hella clean. Right. Because it just didn't move. And plus, after you vacuum, there's like tracks. You can see it. Did your mom ever check if you if you vacuumed your room or oh, just heard the vacuum? Heard the vacuum. Man, that's loose parenting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, but I was just, was just uh, or like you probably walk up in there and you're just like, God, God damn it. You're just, yeah, I mean, listen, tired, bro. listen, yeah. If you have a 16 year old dude, there's more things to worry about than vacuuming the kid's room. Yeah. You got to worry about if he's on, if he's on crack, you got to worry about if he's jerking off in the socks. Everything. The whole bunch of stuff. Just everything. You have to be on guard at all times. You're, if you're, dude. Do you know what's crazy? You're being a parent is just being like a mall security guard at all given times. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? What are you, why, why are you running? Stop. Don't be, don't take that. It's, it's a lifeguard. It's a yeah. lifeguard to me. A lifeguard, a public pool, you just yelling. literal lifeguard. Like, yeah. like your life is being guarded. Ugh. You know what's bullshit? I'll tell you. Uh oh. I'll tell you. Hot this, take. Is, this is what bullshit. This is not how to take it all. It's like you raise a kid. Raise you, it. So many sacrifices, right? You have mm-hmm. a kid. So many sacrifices up till they're like 14 to 15. And then they start. Hating you, dude. I what? I'm, I feel so bad for like how I used to be like a angsty like teen towards my parents. I love my parents now, and it's like I I, I don't know how I would ever be mean. And you just say dumb shit. And plus, that's shit. what's crazy. It's like they work a nine to five job, get home, and you're like, what the fuck are you looking at? It's like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. They make like the lasagna a little off, oh and you're like, God. mom, this is fucking bullshit. And yeah. she's like, I, I what? How, how do parents? How are there not more? Parents that just like Just fucking lose it Dude just, that, that's why there's so many drowned kids That's, what, that's what happens <sighs> on, Yeah like dude on trial they go what happened She goes he was yelling about my lasagna And the judge goes you know what <laughs> Word up bro The judge is like you have a lasagna again She's like it's all drowned you too He's like uh, sorry sorry your, your honor defend it um, Yeah I don't know I think it was I don't know what it, It's weird because you go through like a phase You like you hate your parents And then you leave for college and you're like <laughs> I love them. I know. What is that? It's, well, because you realize you you really you get you mature enough. Because you have to do like random shit. You're like, oh, it's six o'clock. I should be doing something with my body and food. Where the fuck's my mom at? <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. That's true. And then you, you realize- start living alone. Oh, you know? dude, you start eating just like soup and just crying a little. Oh my god, dude! I I still cook like I'm in college. I cook. No, dude, me too. I I I don't cook for flavor. Have I talked about this before? I don't. I, don't I feel like I don't cook for like joy. I cook so my body's happy. I'm like, fucking brown rice, bowl of cereal, and <laughs> some ground turkey because that'll hit all the components. I just eat so I'm not hungry. Exactly. You know that, what I mean? That's like how I, I, feel I like just I, I just I'm like my body starts shaking and my body's like, bruh, just give something. us some nutrients. And I'm like, all right, man. Well, here's a slice of honey nut ham. Yeah. And I guess I have a gogurt. Is oh, that fine? Ma- oh yeah, I have some makeshift meals. You ever do the the dinner where you stand in front of the fridge and you just eat a few of these, a few of those, and a couple of that? Yep. And you're like, yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, I, yeah. I, it's it's my own buffet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a yeah, well, in a sense. Well, okay. do you like buffets? Um, no. You know what? I don't eat enough for it to make sense. Like yeah. fiscally, like if it was free, I'd probably fuck with a buffet. Mm-hmm. But I don't. Uh, I don't eat enough. So I'm spending twenty two dollars, and everyone's like, "Oh, you can eat fuck it, and I have like a steak and like yeah. some some coconut shrimp, and I'm like, "All right, I guess I'm done." Right. I think the best part about it is like, uh, you can make a fucking decked out salad. Okay. You know, because they got shit. I'm not putting. Did you I, just come out on the podcast? Yeah, bro. I, I didn't. That's why I said decked out, trying to sound cool. But you think I got fucking bacon bits around my house? They got a bunch of shit that you don't just have around the house. Bro, they got blue cheese. I've made a Crumbles. salad at my house like once. That's just too hard. You make one bowl, the fucking bag goes rotten. You just put a gallon of like Hidden Valley Ranch on it. Like, this is boring. Bro, do you I ever, want cool shit? You ever try to like go to Trader Joe's and like buy like leaves? Like the exposed, like loose leaves. Like you don't buy it in a bag. You buy like the loose leaves. What do you mean? 
Like, you know, I mean, like you, the greens. Like, you actually, yeah. like, you have the kale and, like, it's exposed. Oh, you ever do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And then you go home and you're like, I'm going to make a salad. And you don't. And then it goes brown and you throw it away. Bro, I did the exact. I bought a grip of kale. I don't know how to. <laughs> is that. What's the term? Kale is mad grippy. That shit got some fucking girth on it. Like, you could fucking. Mm. You ever just eat kale? Like, eat kale? No. It's fucking gross. It's trash. And I, I, trash. I, I use, like, one leaf in a smoothie. And then the rest is just still in my fridge from, like, a week ago. And it's gone. It. Kale last kale ages like bananas. It's yeah. terrible. Kale just turns into a person and walks the fuck out of your house. You're just like, I'm over this. Kale is trash. Bro, if a person was, tra- uh, dude, if a person, wh- who is a person that is kale? Do you know what I mean? Who has the personality of kale? Like mm-hmm. a CNN reporter? Yeah. People who do the programming at NPR. Ooh, that's Very better than kale esque. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, do parents, at what age does Excuse NPR me. start being like, this is my bread and butter right here? Ooh, um, Parents get off to that shit. They do. Crank but, that out like a nice seven volume. But do they? I don't. Yeah. Parents I, love that shit, bro. Dude, parents love that. NPR. And they love candles. Yeah. Parents fuck with candles. You don't like candles? I love candles. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what, who the fuck doesn't like candles? I like me a good candle. You, you know? don't You don't fuck with NPR, though? It's, do you, you listen to NPR? Never. I don't even know what's on there. Huh. I love it. <laughs> It's the, no, the, no. the vote, the voice tones are good. They have some dumb little jingles like da da da. Welcome back to NPR. I just got done murdering five thousand people, and today's guest is You're like, what, 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 was that, what was that five thousand? Come back, Sandra. What did you just? Ah, blah, blah, blah. That, I feel like if you, like it just just ah, da, 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 da. that's like all it is. Can you imagine fucking someone on NPR? That shit would be so terrible. Uh, bro, you like that, Barbara? She's like, I kind of like it. it was oh, I thought you sweet. meant like playing it in the background. Like, oh no, 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 sex music. No, my like sex with someone from NPR. Oh, they would give you no love. Be the quietest. You're not getting any noise complaints. No, well, uh, maybe that's good. Do you fuck loud? Is it like is it like a is it like a circus in there? Or is it is it a library? I don't know. What do you I've, mean? Never, I've never heard. We never had me sex before. <laughs> had sex? You, no, but like you, because you've never. You got to be outside the room to know if you really. Because mentally, you're like, I'm putting in that work, right? And then your roommate's like, "What did you do last night?" You're like, "Did you not? What? You didn't hit? Did you come, not hear? Did you not hear the on, one bro. the one man band?" Yeah, dude, I want to make a sketch about this. It's just uh, the roommate who just had sex the night before. Because I feel like every guy like walks out like. They're like, what? Psh, you know, like they don't even say words. Like, yeah. bro, how is it? Psh, come, bro. Yeah, you walk. Dog. Out. You just walk out. You go. You already know. Exactly. That's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, literally. Yeah. yeah, it's so funny. Yeah. Just like, um, I feel like mentally, you think you're putting in that work, but then if your roommate is like, you had a girl over last night, you're like, man, fuck you. Yeah, dude. You, you be loud, fucking. You got the most elegant windows in your place too. So bro, if you were I, banging, I like, sound like a bonobo. What the fuck is that? <laughs> A bonobo? You know what a bonobo is? Is that a goddamn Girl Scout cookie? Yo, if that was a Girl Scout cookie. Bonobos! What is um, that? No, it's a chimp. It's like a type of a chimp. Like oh. we're, we're the like we as humans were the closest to the bonobo. Oh, I do know a bonobo. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really know what that means. I'm loud as a bonobo, but I'm I was, are, it's are like you animalistic. Loud or is she loud? Or are you both loud? <sighs> you know, she's loud, bro. No, I'm loud too. What do you what do you be yelling? Uh, I just I say random things. But, uh, I just I, I remind myself to say things like I'll throw out a compliment. That feels so good. You have All never right. had sex, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> are you telling me you have to remind yourself, dude? You're a fucking no, because you're a no. crazy person. Don't even, okay. All right. Let's <laughs> circle back five weeks where <laughs> you were fucking having an arranged marriage with the floor. You fucking psychopath. No, I'm saying <laughs> I gotta let the thoughts that are in my head out. Because I'm thinking, like, oh, this is great. But it's like, if you don't compliment, if you got to be like, oh, man, this shit is good. But but what do you what do you think that you need to say? You you, you got you to gotta check mark the boxes. You got to be like, did I do my best job? Yes. Did I compliment? Yes. Did I nut? Instantly. You yeah. got to do the, the boxes. Dude, you're fucking like an Excel spreadsheet, bro. Yeah. That, no, you got to be in the moment. What are you talking about? You're making grocery lists of what the things to say? Yes. You take out a fucking I list. You're like, all right, that's my- all. I will do anything to take my mind off nothing quick. I'll think about anything, bro. Well, I'll... yeah, but you, you got, a list is a list of compliments going to make you not come? Yes. For me, that's going to make me come. If I'm like, <laughs> if I'm like, damn, her vagina is so like wet, and that, and then I'm oh, like, oh, and, and then you've I... had sex with that sentence? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, dude? I've had sex all of uh, man so many times, dude. Bro, when you just do when when you do a thing that she likes, bro, it's crazy. When, oh, you, man. when you just do it, like well, like one crazy. like one time I had this, and then I I get I gave her all to her. You know? So what are you are you what are you are you just making noises? You yelling? You fucking doing the ABCs backwards? You 
doing well, a breathalyzer? Well, well where, where am I at? Am I trying not to come? Or, or am I just because okay because there's there's solid lengths of time where like you're like good you don't feel like you're about to come and you're in the moment I feel and like then you know time. instantly I feel like the second oh, you're really? in you're, the second you're in you're like this ain't gonna last long. yeah you're the second you're like ooh this is gonna be eleven minutes hundred <laughs> percent you gotta start thinking about shit just like get out of it be like um do y'all feel that earthquake and then you just get <laughs> yeah, off yeah. you start thinking about putting an IKEA desk together <laughs> yeah exactly yeah um, um but I that's actually that's actually not me like if if I'm gonna if I feel like I'm gonna come quick then I. Like, if I'm in there and I feel like I'm going to come quick, like, within, like, the first five minutes, then I'll know. But sometimes, like, I have, like, a little marathon thing where I'm, like, I'm in there for, like, 15 minutes. And I'm, like, oh, I'm in the moment. I don't feel like I'm going to come. Position here, position there. And I'm, like, good. And then, so then, then in those times, I can be in the moment. I can. But, right. but dog, when I feel that shit a-bubbling, your boy yeah, is so but, not in the moment. You, know, uh, so, you can't be, because you can't be talking game and then be, like, yeah, you like that? Because I did an hour ago. I'm yeah. just, I nutted already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The funniest part about is like the condom nut, and you just keep pumping oh, like you course. haven't finished for whatever reason. That extra thirteen seconds is gonna be like she won't even know, and then you're just like you think you're putting in work, do, but it's like yeah, you already th- finished. Do you think that she feels it? Like there's gotta be a, 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 like a really big difference between a condom that with no nut in it and a condom that is chock full of nuts. I think it says it in your facial expressions because oh, you're I, like ah ha ha, and then you then you get real like blank, and then you're like oh fuck, act again, and then you're like it's. Like you, you see the depression. I'm face. Daniel Day Lewis with that shit. I don't really? think I don't think you can tell. Well, because I kind of bury my face, I bury my face a little bit, so she can't really tell. But she probably can feel the <laughs> little like a door, like knocking on a door. Little. Yeah, I f- yeah. You know what? I feel like I'm maybe not showing anything, but it's in retrospect, it's probably it's probably all over my body expressions <laughs> and my face. Like you know what I mean? Like probably, yeah. you know what I do sometimes? That I think is hilarious. Is like if I feel like I'm gonna come soon and she's like on top or whatever. I will put her in a position or tell her to sort of do something that's not great for me so I don't so I can last longer. Like what? Mean, like if she's on top of me, I'll like tell her to go like real slow and I'll act as if like I fucking love it. Oh. But it's just so I don't come yet. So so she can get her nut in before me. The mind games. The mind games. Cause then I'll be like, oh, this is the best. Is it the best? Not really. But I need this time to like regroup, you, so I'm not you. coming in seven and a half minutes. I mean, that's pretty seven and a half minutes. That's, that's two full Drake songs. I'm a bit. <laughs> I'm a bit. But see, what is what is exactly seven and a half minutes? What is that? Is that, that is seven true. and a half minutes of straight pounding? There's no fucking way in the history of America that any dude can just pound for seven and a half minutes straight and not come. That's crazy. Because if we're talking about seven minutes, if we're talking about like like twenty pumps and then switch another position and then another like sixty pumps and then switch, then yeah, seven and a half minutes is nothing. But right. straight like pound for yeah. a, for seven. There's no yeah. Way. What I do is I'll go for like thirty seconds, hide in the bathroom for five, and come back and then do the other thirty seconds. Like yo, that was a great fucking six minutes. She's like, what? Yeah, you're like I put in work, dude. Yeah, we started at what five oh six. Now it's what shit five forty five. Yeah, you took a phone call mid sex. Okay. What? Start so, to finish though. So what though? So when we started, the clock said that. I just finished. Now what? Boom. Did I stop and pray? <laughs> sure. Sure I did. But I love Jesus and so do you. What's 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 the funniest thing that's ever happened? You know what is the whitest word ever is coitus. You know what coitus means? It means yeah, fucking. fucking in NPR. Yo, that's what, that's what the NPR woman says. She's like, hey, would you uh, what's the funniest would you like thing to coitus? Yeah. Oh yeah. Would you, <laughs> just would you like to coil with my coitus? Uh, coitus just sounds like a dumbass snake, though. Coitus? That's my coitus? Yeah, it's a coitus over there. Coitus. Yeah, it, co- it, or a frog. That's a coitus it frog. Sounds like a, it sounds like a, like a really uh, spiky tree. And that's a coitus? Yeah. And that's a maple tree. I could see that. Yeah. Um, do you want to, I, I would like to tell you this right now. We're, we're talking about sex. Whoa. So this is, this, is, this is the thing that I wanted to tell you up top, but I forgot. So I had a hilarious moment in my life. And I hope it never happens again. But here we go. Ooh. Is it? Go ahead. In comparison to the floor story, crazier? Nothing is crazier than the floor story. Yeah. No, I still get Buddy, I was on my hands and knees with a butter knife. (laughs) Like, I'm like, what? What? There's nothing crazier than that. (gasps) What? Now you're taking sides? What do you mean? Five weeks ago, you were like, "What do you mean? It's a butter knife." But no, 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 what, 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 dude. The butter. I would be a. Full, I would be the first one to admit that the butter knife. I mean, that's. I mean, that that is insane. I still stand by my nut on the ground, hundred percent. I will not. I will not step away from that. I am in. I am in cahoots with. Do that. you know how many concerned people have come up to me after the shows? Like, love the podcast. Is 
is Michael like, is is he like <laughs> chill? Like, is he good? And I'm like, I don't fucking, I don't. <laughs> is he chill? No, the people are like legit, like concerned. I'm like, I don't know. Is he, that's so funny. Is he, is he, um, is he, is he like, chill? Is he, is he a school shooter? What, what, uh, what's he? Oh, um, man. That's all the so... above. Anyways, uh, so wait, what it, so, okay, here's the story. What, tell me. Oh, right. <laughs> tell me like I'm a jukebox. Uh, tell no. me. Tell me why he ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Do you think those singing lessons helped 19 weeks ago when we did those? I'm better at singing off camera, so that episode didn't really <laughs> show my vocal range. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, here's the story. So, um, I was having uh, I was having sexual relations or coitus uh, with my girlfriend recently, and uh, this fucking guy. And I was we were we were doing it. Um, we were doing, we were doing we it. We do, were doing it. Yeah, doing it nasty. Oh, and you've had sex, dude. I've had sex, man. How many? I dude, we were doing it. Yeah, I I put it in. I put it in. Daddy had a sex work. Well, you gotta just do it. And then and then and then you yeah you just do you just it. Keep doing just it. Just fucking Home Depot. Just do or no? Is that, that's just Nike. do it as what's Nike, Home, bro. What's Home Depot's motto? Man, we'll put the light on you. for you. <laughs> Yo, the Motel oh, Six, yes. the Motel Six, and Home Depot had a collab. Well, put the light on for you. Like, what? What is Home Depot's? Oh, what? Home Depot, oh, Robin. Oh, Home it? Depot. Every kiss begins with K. You're right. Um, wait. Okay. So let me, uh, I'll let you get through the story. Uh, you don't have to. So just, you're fantasizing just, about sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry so, I was, so I was having, so I was having sex, right? And I was on. If you fucking give me those goddamn air quotes, bro, you were the only virgin on the show. Okay. The way that you talk about sex bro, is is how an amoeba would talk about sex. I'm What's an amoeba? I'm saving that shit for marriage. <laughs> bro, you know what we should do? We should auction off your virginity. <laughs> Patreon! Yo! October 9th. October 9th. Yo, do you know how much money we could we could get for your virginity? Bro, I'm not a virgin, dog. Why are you <laughs> acting like this? <laughs> Only virgins would flex I've done it. say I'm not a... Man, whatever, bro. Dude. You're just mad that I put in seven minutes of work, two in the bathroom. Two outside, <laughs> two in the bedroom. <laughs> One minute of crying. Anyways, so Red you were Robin. having um, sex. So I was having sex with my girlfriend, putting in that W O R K, yeah. And uh, I was on top, work. and uh, so I was. I don't know. I don't know how to really get. I don't really how to get the visual, but so I was on top, and my uh, my elbows. She was in, in, like you know, I was on top, and my elbows were like you know, over her head. Shut up and let me, I, cause I need the visual. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give it an audio and the fucking, vi and the goddamn video. It's a whole <laughs> thing. Cause you're just trying to remember porn you're watching this morning to <laughs> pretend like you've had sex. So then this bald guy, I mean me. <laughs> yeah. And I was delivering a pizza. Uh, all right. So I was on top like this, right. And I was, I was pumping away. Right. And then I was like, Oh, I'm about to come. Right. So I reached down to, to jack myself a little bit to, so I could come. Right. And I, I did the first initial explosion. Right. It was like, <laughs> It was crazy, okay. right? Initial explosion, right? So then, the first initial explosion. That's usually like that's usually like the the, the longest and the the biggest and in terms of distance, longest distance, right? That you that right. come right. So then I kind of go down, and I'm almost I'm almost like laying on her at this point, still Jill Jacking, right? Yeah. And then another another bursts comes out of nowhere. Okay. Low, right? Yeah, another load. Another and you know where that goes? Fire, yeah. You know where that one goes? All in my face. Oh. I came in my fucking face. He came on his face. And I he came, came on, on my face. Fucking, hey. Dude, I came on my How, fucking face. Oh, you laid down and just. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I, I have never laughed. So, I, dude, my girl was like, what is wrong? I was on the ground dying laughing. With it still on your face? With it, it, dude, it was on my face. It was in my hair a little bit. It was oozing. It was like, it was a, it was a full nut. I fully nutted in my face. Wow. It was the funniest fucking thing. I don't... Uh, yeah. I mean, that's... Cr Have you... No. No. I, Dude, I've, ne I've never even gotten close like, to I, I that. I feel like that, that happens, though. I feel like it's like the chances of that are like not insane. Like, I feel like, like one out of like maybe a hundred. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just I just never... Well, because I, I feel like I know myself. So I was like, all right, the, the initial you one... now. Oh, I know myself a lot. But I was like, oh, the initial one, the initial one is like long distance. Now you know how the floor felt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, so wait, so you it lands on you and you just start laughing immediately. Bro, I couldn't catch my breath. My girl thought something was wrong. Yeah. And just just nut in my you face. You guys sharing the same nut towel? Oh. 
<laughs> you get you missed the spot, honey. Oh no, you missed the spot. And you guys are both just doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's listen, it's fine. It's funny. It's oh what my it god. Is. It I couldn't fucking stop laughing. Like right. I came in my own face. That's insane. Yeah. You never got close by like jerking off or whatever. <clears throat> no, I, th- I, I what's the highest you got? Like neck. Yeah, mm. like a quick little swift or like whoa. Oh, oh, you like Matrix that shit? Well, I think what it is. I think I talked about this one time, but like I like went like that and went out, and then it just kind of just yeah. Oh wow, you know? Did you dodge it on purpose or did you sort of move at the right time? Uh, right time. Oh well, actually, it was just so much. I didn't even think about that. There was just so much going on. I was just like what, and then just I mean, Jesus, what a great move at the right moment. Oh yeah, it was great. You ever go like? Ever had a girl like ask you for it? Like asked, like I want you to come in my face. Like just ask like that. I've never had a girl ask really? me to do. Have you? Come on, what? Bro. You come you, on. You literally had a girl be like, "I want you to come in my face." Yeah, I've always been the. I've always had to be the one to be like, "I'm gonna just get on your knees. I'm gonna come." Like I would. I would always have to like sort of initiate. I've never had a girl right. be like, "You know what I need?" Uh, yes, ma'am. What's up? I actually not think about it. I don't know. Right? Yeah, that might that might come off a little crazy. Or I think they'll be like, do anything. And you're like, anything. That's all and, that's what it is. But dude. then anything is just code for not on my face. You not think so? Face. I think so. Or does she want like a sandwich? Do anything. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> do anything. You're like, my taxes. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um do anything. I'm leaving. What? <laughs> um yeah, it was a it was a very very uh, interesting, hilarious bonding experience. My yeah, what, lady what, and I. What did what? So did you, then it was, you just went about your day, or was it night, or is this? Oh, I just left it on my face and went about my day. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say your skin looks really good. Thanks, dude. Did you rub it in? I did. I think it's got uh, what Neutrogena in it. I think so. An SPF, SPF. Yeah, 30. Did, were you probably eating healthy and it like kind of cleansed it a little 100, bit? You, you know, there's whale semen in like women's uh, face shit. Really? Whale. Semen, dog. How do, How do you even, even jerk off yeah. a whale? That's crazy. How do you think whales have those big? I would oh, assume that whales have tiny dicks. Is that weird? Really? Yeah. Where do they keep it? Uh, in their pocket. <laughs> but like, I've seen a whale before. <laughs> never <laughs> once been like, "Yo, you, bro, shamu packing." I have never seen it. it. I think uh, I think it's like a dog, like a dog dick. Dog dick. It's like it's like a little lipstick thing, thing, dude. You ever see a dog's walking house and you're like, man? Put that yeah. shit away, It does bro. make you angry. It's fucking Super Bowl Sunday. What are you so hard for? Yeah, it's like, you're not getting so any I of this I love pizza, the Redskins, bro. bro. <laughs> Shut up, dude. You're a Cocker Spaniel, you yeah. piece of shit. Whale dick? Whale dick, dude. Yeah, the yeah, dog dick makes me angry. I would literally rather have my roommate's dick just there, flopping around than my dog There's like weird dog shit dick. in all... Yeah. There's like weird shit all over. Isn't like Jell-O have like horse hooves in it? What the fuck do you have say you, Have you me, heard dude? that? Yeah, Jell-O... Has like horse hooves in it or some shit. It's like who? What, dude? Get what another else? ingredient. It's like what? A boss, what does it even taste like? What is it like? It's missing something. And the guy's just like, Pfft. and he bumps in his collection of horse hooves. And he's like, wait a second. I think I got it. First of all, the guy has a collection of horse hooves. Probably oh people my. who eat Jello are not the most normal. If you're over five and you eat Jello, or it's not a Jello shot, insane. Oh baby, like you get yeah. like, oh, I'm hungry. Let me have something with zero nutritional value. Yeah, if you had a girl, uh. Tell you that she eats Jello? No, I'd be like Chris Hansen is in the house. What? Chris Jell-O. Hansen has entered the chat. I don't know. I don't know how to make Jello. I don't remember the it's last. It's stupid. Time you got to make it hot in a in a pot and then you cool it down. I don't like that. I don't like that. You got to get hot then cold. Like the no. fuck kind of bipolar ass shit is this? Be one temperature. Yes. Fucking one temperature. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, Gazpacho. The, Get the fuck out of here. This is weird how like some random food just like people <laughs> people always have like those facts on deck. Like I just did. Like, you, did you know that Jello is horse? Why, why do you know that? Why do you know that? I don't know. Horse hooves. I love Jello. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hold on. Why but is it is it does it like coagulate the well, jello? I'm, or I'm some also shit? just saying like horses aren't the easiest animals to be like, yo, can I borrow that real quick? Like, how do you get a oh, horse? You don't- let me tell you something, bro. You don't borrow a horse hoof. You kill that motherfucker. Just for the and hooves? cut his feet off. You know what's funny is horses are always wearing shoes, bro. Yeah. They well, stay just wearing Jordan 1s their whole dipped, lives. Dipped That's, out. That would be kind of dope. To just always, just like coming to your mom's, coming to your mom with like wearing like Tim's. And those are just your shoes the whole That'd time. That'd be crazy. What shoes did you pick? Um... Probably like a pair of Vans because they're versatile, you know? Because if you're a baby wearing Tim's, you right. have a lot to live up to. Oh, are they full-size Tim's? 
or they grow I, with I'm you. I'm thinking it's more of a statement. It's like you pop out in bands, like hell yeah, let's get a joint. But Tim's are like, yo, somebody give this guy a fucking stomp the yard ticket at, right now. Like just get him in a movie. Oh, like that. Like there's a lot of pressure if you have to wear Tim's. It it is a statement. It is a statement. You know? Yeah. If you yeah yeah. I mean, if you choose like ballet slippers, like you got to be a fucking ballerina. Yeah. Like, what else? You can't really do anything else. Bowling shoes. Wow. Bowling shoes are trash. Can we talk about that? The fucking the worst shoes in the world. How do those make you better than normal shoes? I think because you slip in them. Like they give you a little slip. I thought they do that so you don't slip. No, I feel like there's there's the like shit on the bottom of the thing. So you when you when you roll it, you get a little slide action. Really? I don't know, bro. I feel like it because it's like it's it slicks like on the bottom, right? I mean, they look dumb. If Jello could be shoes, it'd be bowling shoes. One hundred percent. Stupid dude. ass colors always. Nobody's ever seen one color of bowling shoes. Do you remember when it was like sort of in style to wear shoes that look like bowling shoes? No. Yeah, dude. When the fuck fucking, was that? Uh, uh, what's, uh, fucking Skechers had like a whole line of them. Skechers? Yeah. <clears throat> Have you ever Damn. worn a pair of Skechers? Long ass time. I think as a kid. Maybe. Actually, I don't even know. Dude, do you, do you I'm know surprised the... every day I see a Skechers store open. Like, how the Me? fuck are y'all in business? I'll tell you why. The fucking shape ups. Shape ups. My dad rocks some Skechers. You know, you know what's funny? Shape ups. They did a whole like, uh, like scientific research, whatever, on what they do. They don't do nothing. Nothing. That is you just walk around like a fucking seesaw all day, and you're like, it's making me lose. What? What what was it? It Was just saying it would like burn more calories or something? I think I don't know if it was burn more calories. I think it would like work your legs as you're walking, like your like your asshole would get like bigger. It's so funny when shit like that comes out, because then everybody with shape ups is like, oh, I. Well, how am I supposed to know? Well, it works for me. Go to fucking Jim Sharon. You know what's funny is like when when things get proved flaw, like afterwards. Like, do you remember when every mall had like those wristbands that made balance better? Yeah, do you remember that? Yeah. Do you know like the guys they would just purposely push down harder on like the left side than they would like the other side? So if you had the wristband on your yeah, left hand, okay, they'd be like, let me show you how it works. On the other side where they like push you down, they like push harder, and then when they're on the other side, they do like super light. Those things did nothing. First of all, if you can't tell that someone's pushing harder on one side than the other, you're a fucking moron and you well, should eat also, horse hooves. <laughs> <laughs> Deep fried. But also, like, if you're buying that in the first place, you're an idiot. You're a loser, bro. Right? Like, If you're unbalanced, kill yourself. <laughs> that's, what, that's the only option you got, walking, bro. okay? Yeah. But it's just such a weird, like, people were like, wait, really? It's like, yeah. You fucking thought that those would help you, like... People are like, oh, these make you jump higher. These get you balanced. It's just rubber. Dude, if you buy if you buy like a balance thing, I would like to sell you things. You oh, fucking bro. moron. This is the same guy that's like, magic is real. Magic's not real. Okay? What? I we- <laughs> <laughs> Huh? But when he pulled the thing out of the hat, what was that? Where'd the rabbit go? Where did the rabbit Ma- Okay, so ma- so magic's just illusions? <laughs> yeah, illusions in the sleight of hand, bro. There's no real magic. It'd be so funny if, a, if dude, a witch is gonna fucking write into. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, dude, you ever you ever like run into someone? I don't. Do you think magic's real? I'm being no. honest. You don't think so? I just don't know how the fuck they do it, but no. I don't think a magician is like real magic, but I, I think I mean I think there's some fucking whack shit, weird like spiritual witch, like devil ghost shit that's like real. You think none of that shit exists? Oh no, I, I think so. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, I guess. Actually, I don't. What f- the fuck? I don't Kinda know. Weak ass like, opinion is that you shitty politician? I think in the daytime, I'm like, no. I'm like, Eddie. fucking ghosts are dumb. That's not real. Then at night, I hear somebody like sneeze when I'm in the woods by myself. I'm like, oh fuck. Why are you in the woods by yourself? Don't ask me this stuff, bro. Come on, I'll be having sex. What? <laughs> I'm off looking for horse hoof. The fuck else am I doing out there, bro? Uh, no, I'm just saying... Yo, or, fuck Six Sense, by the way. Have I have I made this stance yet? Fuck Six Sense. No. I'll tell you why, dude. Six, Remember that moment where, yeah. the, where the fucking little kid idiot man looks in the camera and goes, Every time the hair on the back of my neck stands up, that means they're around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that! Because now every single time I get chills, there's ghosts around. Or it's cold. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> But I but ever that movie scarred me. Every single time I things yeah. happen, like I get the little tingles, whatever. I'm like, oh fuck, ghosts are around. You don't ever feel that way? No. Uh, well, sometimes. Like Thank I you. remember, I took my uh, SAT at this college, uh, and it used to be a mental hospital. 
And they, this Cal State Channel Islands, they just turned it into a mental, it was a mental hospital for patients, and they just made it a college. And the classrooms still have bars on the windows. And, like, I walked to the hall to take a piss, and I heard something like, oh, and I was like, oh, this shit real. Oh, dude, I went, when I went to Ireland, we said it's Airbnb. Uh, there was this, like, big, like, kind of sort of mansion house from, like, the, literally the 1400s, bro. It was the scariest house. We got in, oh. we got, we got in at, like, 11 p.m. The woman that yeah. ran the Airbnb was 3,000 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. She was a ghost, I think. Right. She said, hello, welcome to the house. Dude. Oh, 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 you're a ghost. You're yeah. a ghost, bitch. Oh, my God, you're a ghost. And me and my brother tried to go to sleep. We were, like, in the same room, and we literally kept hearing a crying baby. No, get me Fuck. out of this fucking house. That's crazy. Yeah, I had a weird story like that where uh, I was in Ohio. I was visiting my dad's side of the family, and we stayed in like this random, random old house, and the TV turned on in the middle of the night, and Fuck. I was like, we are all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember being like, what? there's no logical, like, what? I was fucking freaking out. It was one out. of those ones, like, I'm going to stay up all night because I'm not going to die. And then, like, five minutes later, you fall asleep, and you wake up, you're like, whoa, fuck. Oh, cool, the sun. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. You I've never been happier to see the sun. Oh, yeah. my God. You know what's funny? Every time I see uh, scary movies, and then some, like, whack shit happens in the house, and I go, fucking leave the house, you idiot. Fucking leave. To you? I, I'm yelling at the movie. Oh, 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 Leave the house, you stupid idiot. But here's the f- interesting thing. When I'm in a house from the 1400s with definitely the Airbnb host as a ghost, and then at four in the morning, I'm hearing a crying baby, my brain goes, nah, it's not. It uh, Come on. The ghost can't get here. in the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the thing is, it's four in the morning. I'm not leaving the house. It's also funny that we like only think that ghosts can fuck with you at night. I'm like, bro, if I was a ghost, I'd be knocking in the day. I'd be like, what's up, bitch? Because you only are scared of ghosts really at night. Right, but like you, like like in that example, when the TV turned on, I was like, "I'm dying tonight," and then like the morning came, and I was like, "I'm saved." It's like, what, do you think the ghost is fucking asleep now? The ghost won't give like sh- take shifts. He's like, oh, "I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna fuck with you guys tomorrow night." Cool, but it's like, if it's haunted, it's haunted. This is a funny. This is a funny thing. There's no black ghosts. None. There should be. There's no boys with them. I think it would be fun. Yeah, be, boo, I'd be like, oh, shit, yeah, what up, like, man? Yo, boo, motherfucker, they'd be wearing Tim's. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how you know. You just hear the doo, 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 doo. <laughs> heavy ass steps and shit. Um, did, did you have, like, growing up, like, a haunted area that people would be like, oh, you got, like, we had this uh, farm that used to, uh, they call it Scary Dairy, which, like, a stupid name. Scary Dairy? Yeah, it was a farm was out, a, out by Was the, it a out dairy the, farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> this, do you remember that question? This guy who really like cheese who just haunts the town. Uh, well, remember that question that the guy went to a dairy farm and fucked a cow or sucked a cow's dick or something? Probably there, dude. Do you remember that? It's probably there. It's like four episodes but like, ago. Yeah, this, yeah, hell yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> shout out to our followers. Uh, <laughs> Yo, we got. Some, we'll, we'll get into the questions in a second, but we got some hilarious ones. All right, oh, so really? They, so yeah, but like people dairy. would just like go there. Mm-hmm. Like it's so funny when people know it's haunted. They're like, it's haunted. It's scary as fuck. We go there and they're like, why did we go there? It's like, what did you expect? Yeah, did you expect it not? You you knew prior to going in there that it yeah. was fucking haunted. Yeah. And you think it's just me, no ghost, you're not going to be scared? Yeah, I, I went once and the cops came like right as we got there. And I was like, because <laughs> you called them? <laughs> FTP, dude, fuck him. And I was like, thank God. I did not want to go in that bitch alone, dude. So it was, it was like a non uh, operating dairy farm? Like yeah, it was, it was like closed old... down. You had to walk like a half mile in the dark Oof, to get to it. Fuck no, dude. Yeah, but I think people still go there. I don't know what the fuck. Also, this was before social media. That was your social You're like, you want to go fucking, you want to just go somewhere at night? Oh, man. Before dude, social media. Would you, would you, uh, like, would you go into a known, I guess a scary dairy, but, like, would you go into, like, an actual, like, very, uh, like, popular, this is where murders have happened type of house and no, stay there for a night? No, sir. Why? <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, for money. How much money would it take you? This oh. is what the, that's, that's the question I'm asking. 50 grand. Stay, like, I'm talking about a fucking- Am I by myself? <clears throat> yes. By yourself, no phone. Have to go in, go in there at 4 p.m. and come out the next day at 4 p.m. I don't think I would for 50 grand. 100 grand. 100 a grand used probably. M3. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> dog, say less, bro. I'll do it for a fucking image of a used M3. I'll do it for 100 grand. <clears throat> do I get to be strapped up? Glock and everything? No. No, it didn't you don't get to bring so, anything? Bro, you think, you think you're going to shoot a ghost? You have It'll no idea. It'll make me feel better. You have no idea how ghosts Okay, work. but if I'm saying if a ghost is coming at me, and I'm like, pow, 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 pow. The neighbors will be like, oh, shit, shit going down. Like, neighbors? It'll... There's no neighbors. It's Why in not? A, it's an abandoned jail. From 1916. Okay, now we're just throwing out hypotheticals. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to make it more specific. Um, if I can bring a gun strictly for the purpose that I'll feel mentally safer. 
Okay. Because ghosts, I don't, I don't, I don't Yo, know. women ghosts be hot, though. Women ghosts? Yeah. They have those? You think it's all dude ghosts? I don't know why. <laughs> I'm, this is an odd question, non sequitur, but it was in my head. Would you like, would you fuck a known vampire? Because vampires are hot as fuck, dude. Like uh, a woman vampire? Wow. No. <laughs> you wouldn't? I Wait, no. If she said, I promise not to bite you. Would you? No. I would. <laughs> I would. She'd be like, you believe me? Ha! And yeah, yeah, just yeah. Bite your neck. I would lick her what? teeth. Blah, blah, blah. Lick her teeth? Um, I would, no. Nah. I'd be cool to have a friend as a vampire, though. That would be so cool. Would I'm you like, want to be a vampire? Can you shotgun this beer for me? And then they just have <laughs> a fang in it. But, you know, thank you, man, real quick. <laughs> like, uh, I forgot my keys again. Can you use your fucking Yeah, yeah. exactly. I feel like they're, like, overlooked. You know, like, they're like, man, I just want to be a normal person, too. And then they just bite a bat. And you're like, man. Remember that a huge vampire craze? The whole, like, Twilight thing? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Christ. Dude, women were fisting themselves over imaginary vampires. Yeah, that is crazy. They're not real. And then I dress Team up as a Edward. vampire of and course. show up to her house at 4 a.m. And it's weird. Like, what? That's bullshit. It's so, it's like, wow, Edward Cullen can do it, but I can't. Like, pff, 2019, man. What is going on? Dude. Um, what, 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 uh, would you do it? Would stay, I stay in the, for 50 grand? 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would. I would. 50 grand's a lot of money, and I would just the entire time, I'd just be like, ghosts aren't real, ghosts aren't real, ghosts aren't real, ghosts aren't real for 24 hours. And then a ghost like, yeah, we are like, who the fuck said that? Oh, fuck, you're right, a ghost. Do you think they're, I mean, do you think they're out there to try to kill you? I don't. I don't know. I, yeah, what if they're just trying to kick it? Yeah, I mean, do they, wh- yeah, they need they need friends. They need, like, real people uh, friends. Well, do, yeah, or do they just, like, fucking hit a light because they're bored, and they're like, yeah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would, I would, who gives a fuck? I would be in a place where, like, lights are getting hit. And like yeah. oranges are being thrown. Well, if you I mean, already know something's gonna be weird, then you know what to expect. Yeah, I, I just, think it's weird yeah. when you don't expect it. If you're like sitting there and you're like, I think if you're over, if you're stoked about it, like let me see that light move. The guy's like, come on, that's no fun. Oh, that's a good, that's a good strategy. If you play into it, be like, that's a great strategy. Man, if somebody could give me a back rub right now, I guess like, oh, you give me a fucking back rub. Yeah, what, I mean, you want me to go to work? No, I'd really love to fuck a ghost right now. I wish they would come <laughs> out here. Who's a ghost? I will come I on your feet. I would be naked. I would be naked. I'd be walking down the hall. Like, who's trying to get this fucking non-ghost dick? Hey, yo. And the ghost is like, oh, god damn it, man. Why? This guy? He's, god, I, yeah, I changed my answer. So I'd, yeah, I'd do it. I'd do it. I would just go in there and Viagra it out. Yeah. Dude, I would take, I would, I've never taken a pain pill, but I would take all the pain pills. I'd just be like, little Wheezy in that bitch. What? I don't know. <laughs> what? Is, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I would be like, I would just be really fucked up. I would take like, a, you know what I mean? I'd be like drunk and I'd take a fucking pain pill and I wouldn't even realize I wake up. It's you just PM. turn into a ghost? You just die? <laughs> just Maybe. Like, Do I get that 50 grand still? Who said that? Oh, fuck. Yo, if you could be one person, I don't know, my brain's going all over the place, but if you could be one person for a day, who would you be? Because I was, th- I was just thinking like, oh, uh, little Wheezy, that would be kind of fun to be him for a day. That's got to be a weird life. All of a sudden you're- Wayne? Oh, yeah, all of a sudden you're 4'7". That'd be kind of weird. Walking around in vans, spitting hot fire. Yeah, I would. It would just I would, be fun uh, to, be, to just rap like that, to have the ability. Just be a little wheezy on my diggers on the trees. I'd probably be Dan Bilzerian. Because that's the only amount that, of time I'd want to be. Fuck, just 24 one. hours of just straight flexing. And just like, you just party as Dan Bilzerian for 24 hours and you go back to your normal life. Like, oh, that was fun. Yeah, but could you go back to your normal life after being no. a pharaoh? No. But I feel like afterwards you'd be burnt out. You're like, actually, I don't even know. Dude, if I was Dan blah blah blah, I don't know how to say his last name. Bizarre I would Bazambian. Dude, oh my god. It would just Do you think his life is actually like that or is it just an Instagram life? It can't be like uh-uh. that. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I mean, nobody's life. I mean, look at my Instagram. I look like I'm crushing it, bro. And you're not. You're real no, depressed. I, oh, dude, I was I did not feel good this morning. I I'll tell you what. I went to a First of all, a chain smokers party yesterday and uh with with the, the well, DJs. Fucking flex, bro. Oh yeah. But I woke up this morning, eight AM, in all of my clothes, not under the blanket, just sitting there. And then I had leftover halal guys for breakfast and a cup of coffee and then a bang energy. And I was just like, This is a site Instagram doesn't see. They saw the picture of me at the place, but this morning I was like, I feel like a methed out pigeon. So Yo, that would be a funny uh that would be a funny uh Instagram. To just Instagram the shit part of your life. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like you taking a horrendous shit. Yeah. You like just. What ha- up? Yeah, just you having, you having like bang energy drinks. That would be a funny. 
That would be hilarious. It would be hilarious. Just you going but to, then, like, get, getting abortions and shit. Just, like, the bad part of life. The pe- people commenting, like, live a shittier life. We love this. You're like, leave <laughs> yeah. me alone. Please. I'm um, addicted to opiates. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, where were we? Oh, the, yeah. Uh, I don't. I think Dan was. I don't know. I think he does. Well, I mean, his normal day is still probably pretty fucking crazy. His He's no, like, I'm yeah. gonna go get groceries, but he has like a eight wheeler Jeep, and you're like, okay. Yeah, he, yeah, I don't think he goes to get groceries. He, There's no way he's going to get groceries. He might. No, he orders a supermodel to go get him groceries. Yeah. Well, even that's fucking insane, though. What to order to what? Yeah, hire someone to go get you like a supermodel to go get you groceries? That's like if I if I did that for a day, I'd be like, man, I'm fucking, I'm I made it. Would you get dampers? I would get his groceries. I'll get his groceries. Hundred percent. Five thousand dollars to go get his groceries. Yeah, bro, I'll t- dude, shout me out. I'll do it. <laughs> dude, beat my ass. Yo, he I'll did shout you out that one time. He did. He did share one of my stories. Shout out me and Dan. So our DMs are open. So if I ever have a slide, I need to like, you know, I need. Have to you slide. ever talked to him on the fucking on I, the, I whatever? Think I followed. I was like, hey man. You're great. Would love to somehow uh, work for you or something. Or work scared. for you? Bro, I was nervous. I just want to go shoot a gun with him. Yeah. I, th- I think I said something along the lines like, would love to do a video because he has that he has a brand, a cannabis brand. I was like, yeah. I'd love to do a video for you guys or something. And just <laughs> nothing. I was like, oh, tight. Oh, sick, sick, sick. Word, dude. Uh, for sure. Yeah, I felt that too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, I know that he has just like, he has just like endangered pandas that he shoots on a, di- like, you know what I mean? He shoots, he doesn't shoot like regular shit. It's not just like, he shoots like unicorns and shit. He's like, he's not shooting deer. Like yeah. when he goes hunting, I mean. Yeah, I think he just shoots guns in the air and just whatever happens, happens. You know what's so funny to be killed by one of those bullets? <laughs> the ones on the way down? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> All right, let's get into some fucking questions, bro. Questions, dog. All right, so this is this is uh, this is a little sock talk, man. Sock talk. This is from uh oh fuck. This is from Jordan uh, uh dot twenty four. Would you rather never be able to come again or have your arm cut off? <laughs> so you're losing an arm, but you can come. Here's the thing, man. What's up, dude? Give it to me. I got two arms. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, listen, I'm losing my fucking. I'm losing my arm. Yeah, our arm is gone. Because if you can never come again, your dick is useless, so just cut that shit off. So essentially, it's like, would you cut your dick off or cut your arm off? Yeah, bro. I'm cut my I, fucking arm off with yeah. a butter knife. I don't bro, give I, a good goddamn... I, I got two arms, man. Yeah. What, what? You, you can use a spork to cut my shit off. I don't yeah, even care. I don't know too many people that are like, you know what? Then I can't drive a stick shift and it pops because at the same time. How so, am I supposed to hug you, you if know, I only have one arm? Right. The bet, you get to, That's great because you always get to give people sidearm hugs. I was like, oh, I love me a good sidearm hug. Like somebody you're like not that excited to see. And you're like, oh, hey. Yeah, like the fake hug, yeah, the I w- sidearm. I always give the full hug. Always? I, I, I think it's funny even if I don't like the person. I think it's funny to, it's, like it's more funny if I don't even, if like I don't like the person. Probably if somebody with a high five. If not, I'm not, I'm like, oh, it's all you. Yo, the high five is so fucking disrespectful. Is it? You know what's more disrespectful? No, I think the high five is very disrespectful. You know what's even more disrespectful is when you go in for like a dap and then the other person gives you a, like a fist. Fuck you, bro. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, dude. Or or people that give too firm of handshakes, which I know is a very pussy thing to say on my behalf. No, but relax. Like, don't, don't, but because then it's already too late. By the time you feel their pressure, you're like, oh, we're, that's what we're doing. Yeah, but we're not at a Microsoft conference. You don't need to like. You don't need to give also, me the, the business it handshake. Has, it has to fit your person, your persona. If you're Dan Bilzerian, I'm expecting some fucking boom, like a hemi handshake. That's true. But if you, you're the same build as me, and you're like, hi, I'm Raj. Get the fuck out of here, Raj. Yeah, Raj. Why you, just, bro? My hand is not frozen. You don't need to defrost this bitch. Just fucking get in there. Also, we're not cavemen. So, yeah. So what do you expect? You're gonna give me a firm handshake, and I'm gonna be like, oh, he's a, I'm a beta. He's an alpha. Yeah, don't. No, I don't give a fuck. I will hit you in the face, Raz. Yeah. Don't ever t- give. Do like you. Well, you wanna. You, if you stare at some. Have you heard this? If you stare at somebody's elbow, you have a great connect. What? I don't give a shit. What? Where or, are we? It's like why, it, bro? Get. Don't touch my hand. We like the, yeah the, the Donald Trump Academy of Business. Yeah. I don't give a fuck, dude. Mm. It, yeah, if I see if I see like forearm veins when oh. you're sh- shaking my hand, go fuck yourself, dude. <laughs> I don't need that. No, not at all. Fucking all right. So you're go- so you're going you're going cut my arm off immediately. Oh, bro, <laughs> I'll cut my arm off with my own semen if I have to. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, your semen Mr. lands a load on his face over here. Yeah, listen, I liked it. <laughs> That's the whole reason for me to bring it up. Um, all right, ready? Uh, Robert under... Don't point at me, bro. <laughs> uh, Robert underscore uh, Deers. Deers? I don't really know how to say this. It's D-I- D-I-E-R-S. Is that De- Deers? 
Who knows? I don't know, man. Um, are you? <laughs> this is so fucking. Oh boy. Are you letting chicks eat your ass? No. Know your worth, kings. <laughs> know your worth, kings. Well, I love how that's like a prized possession. Like that is a prize. Save possession. that for the wealthy. It's like eh, I feel like that's a pretty broke person thing to do. You trying to eat some ass right now? It's, it's you don't. It's not like a luxury thing. Also, it's really hard to ask. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you? I, I, I don't like, know if I've ever requested it. Down. Oh, here's what you do. Like, yeah. You, you want to go down on me? She's like, sure. You're like, no, no, no. Farther. <laughs> Closer. <laughs> warmer. Warmer. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Into the forest. Um, know your worth, Kings. Are you letting chicks eat your ass? Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, you? This? You no? Know? No. So if a girl said, let me eat your ass, you would say no? Yeah. You fucking... Virgin, what are you talking about? Have you ever got your asshole eaten? No, it's it, <laughs> that shit is, bro. That's what? fucking weird, dog. <laughs> Get that shit out of there, bro. Because here's the thing: it's like I, there's better things that you could be doing down there. What playing Parcheesi? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, because then afterwards they come up and they try to kiss you. And no, they, no one does that. That's uh, psycho behavior. Uh, girl, That's psycho girl, behavior. Girls will go from straight topping you out to be like, kiss me. Like it's, it happens well, so that, quick. And then well, what's the time frame? And then what's the day? How, how much Listerine do you That's need? Fine. That's like, fine. If a girl's giving me head and I don't come, she can kiss me all day. If a girl is, if I come in her mouth, then I'm going to kiss her extra like, you hard. Better, you know what yeah, I mean? <laughs> I like, you better spit it up on my face. Too graphic. <laughs> and to remember, kids, you can get double this on Patreon October <laughs> Only 9th. $5 a month. If you want to hear guys talk more about... Come, yeah. So you've never... So you're nah, you're not about that. I'm not about that life. It's... I Bro, can't I be look at you the same. my asshole. You bleach it? No, but I wish I did. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you, there's too much prep for it. You got to... Yeah, there's a little prep, and if you there don't, is. if you don't prep, you're a little in your head. Yeah, you're like, what did I eat today? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Because if you if you had a double espresso and some Taco Bell, it might <laughs> might be an issue. Also, like, yeah, that's yeah, that's it's, it's, it's just. Mm, that, that, they think of that when you see that person. Every time you see them, you're like, man, I'm seeing this asshole. Yeah, it's all, it's also odd to do that and then be like, we gotta go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> like, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah. it's it's weird. Maybe that's a marriage thing. I think if there's one thing I'll say, a for marriage. marriage thing. Yeah, I'll say if you, had a, if you had a girl that you like loved. You wouldn't let her eat your asshole. You're a fucking liar. I see that now, but exactly. Have you have you ever had a girl like get, give you butt play at all? I don't like it. Well, I mean, what it's is weird. she? What, what is she? she what, I get nervous. She, I'm like, get out of there. What is she putting? Like, she's not putting like Finger. a play, like a PlayStation <laughs> control up there. <laughs> well, I'm an Xbox guy for one. Uh, nah, I just I, that's forbidden. There's 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 a literal like there's tape down there that says like warning, caution, like don't go. Wow. Yeah. So you blocked had, off. So you've had some girls attempt. Yeah. Do you think they don't know what they're doing? Or you just don't I like I think it? they're pushing, they're, they're testing the waters. Right. And I'm like, bitch, that lake is closed. Oh, shit. Under construction, bitch. <laughs> like, ah! Usually they yell. It's kind of, I'll be like, ha! Ah! Oh, or yeah. I'll make a cool noise. And they're like, ah, never mind. You don't make a cool noise, dude. No, I you don't. know for sure. You're like, ah! Yeah. A little yeah. bit higher, but yeah, yeah. A little bit higher. <laughs> I've never had sex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. About two more, and then we got to wrap up. Uh, this is, uh, this is from, uh, Crystal with, uh, underscore K. Um, I slept with a, with a guy on the first date and now I don't want him to think I'm a hoe. Help. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Give it to me. This okay, is going to be, do I... this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's like, say this. My other part's like, no, dude. Uh, no, but I feel like this very common. I mean, it's almost like a terms and condition. The girl be like, I don't usually do this on the first date, mm -hmm. but you're like really funny because I'm hilarious, right? Right, right. But right, I feel right. like it's not. I don't think anybody. I mean, I don't think it's a whole thing to do. I just think that like is it it is it it depends on the person you're sleeping with. You know, it's like it's it's nobody's like. It's not like when you leave the house, somebody's like, uh-oh, you broke a crime. It's not a crime to sleep with somebody the first day. It's not. I think I think you're walking a fine line, though, afterwards, so he doesn't think you're a hoe. I think if you sleep with him on the first night and continue to do so, then I think it could be construed as a little bit of hoe activity. But if you don't want him to think you're a hoe, I think you play a little hard to get. Uh, after next time? Af well, just after that time. If he requests to hang out again, I would say no, maybe even two no's, and then you've you've created that oh, I'm not wow. a whole barrier. Damn. You know what I mean? 
Dog, I am I Steve that. Harvey, bro? Yeah, I was gonna say, bro. I, think I, I feel like, a book. dude, that that's why girls be curving. Girls just be that's, damn. That, that's that hurt my brain just thinking about that. Of course, that's that, why they do it, and it fucks with you because you're like, but we already had. Oh, did I have bad dick game? God damn it! See, should have let her eat my ass, and then yeah, you shouldn't. You are just you, uh, yelling on the subway bus, be like, why didn't she eat my ass? You shouldn't have closed the lake. Yeah, and the exactly. lake should be open. And there's a guy at the end of the tunnel that's just, that's just like. Bro, yeah. you should have let her do it. You're just should've... snacking on horse hooves. Just put that fucking PlayStation controller in your asshole. You know. That's going to be the name of the title, the name oh, of the fucking God. episode. Most views ever. Uh, <laughs> um, no, uh, it's not. But um, I also don't believe when uh, girls say, like, uh, I don't usually do this on the first date. Never. Well, because, because Yeah, well, we, we don't believe well, you. We don't believe you. Uh, you do. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's, to- it's okay. But it, a, yeah. it is a good little ego boost. You're like, ooh, I'm sexy. Yeah, it is funny because even though we, even though for the most part, I'm like, I know that you have, I still twist it in my brain to make me feel good. You know what I mean? There's still a part yeah. of me that's like, yeah, but <laughs> the reason you're doing this is because look, yeah. look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you knew that. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, let's do uh, one more segment. We got to get a, we're fucking super running out of time. Get a fuck out of here. Um, I, 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 I'll let me bring it up. Let I'll me bring fill it up. This dead air up. with plugging My- Patreon October 9th. Sign up now. Go to in- Instagram bio. All Words. Right. You ready? I'm ready. Is this? This is this is a little uh this is a little secret. Sucks. Dude, we just sound like ghosts right there. Moo. Why does ghosts all sound like that? Get a get a new sound. You fucking. Yeah, hack. Did they not learn English? Every it's ghost like you already e- knew it. Every ghost either goes or boo. Get another sound. Yeah. You couldn't. You're a ghost. You've been I dead for years. You can't come up. I love a ghost with ad libs. Like every time I'm just walking out the house at three a.m. you're mama, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mama, she keep looking at me, and I'm like, oh god damn it, they're back again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I, uh, babe, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you that this mansion it used to be Quavo's, and every once in a while, like you'll just hear somebody be like, run it up. Like, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> if somebody sounds like they're trapping in the basement, they are. They are. <laughs> DJ um, Khaled, DJ Khaled, another one, another one. DJ God Khaled damn it. would almost be fun. I would make a joke out of it. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. I would like, dude. If the Migos were a ghost around my house, that would be dope. I that'd wouldn't even awesome. care. Yeah. yeah. All right, Secret Socks, ready? I'm not gonna say the name, obviously. Raindrop. Um. <laughs> God damn it. Um. I used to nut in a blanket, and my mom found that shit. Uh. So obviously, my little brother. <laughs> Bl- blanket. Yeah, that's. Um, was I'm trying to figure yeah. out what type of blanket is it? Is it like that's big? Is it like the the family blanket that everybody keeps for like watching TV? Is it like a family? Or is it snuggie? your own blanket? Wow, you know. Yeah, because is when it's also is it your childhood blanket? Is it like a Ninja Turtle one that you used to have a, at like when you were six? Because that's uh, a yeah. little dude. I'm more concerned for the mom. You walk in and this this blanket's just a bukkake blanket. Yeah, and you're like, what what's your reaction to that? You're like, oh fuck. I would look at him and be like, why is your blanket? Feel like wood, or you know what I would do this is fucked up. But if I was a mom, I would like wrap it up and pretend I didn't know. And the next time he's on the, the couch, I'd be like, "You want a blanket to snuggle in? Just throw oh, it at him." Oh no, that's my what? It's your what? Yes, it's, it's my, your cum blanket. My I favorite. know it, <laughs> dude. I would <laughs> such a fucked up family. Oh my god, the dad, minute. mom threw the cum blanket on me. We shouldn't be coming in a blanket. Son. I fucking told her to, bitch. And then he picks it up and throws it at the. <laughs> The sister, like, the fuck is going on in this she, goddamn household? She picks up and throws at the TV and breaks the fucking TV. And then you have to call a repairman. What happened? To, can you explain what happened to the TV? Uh, well, I was, um, we're just going to buy a new TV. I think now. so. I come um, in blankets. Yeah. You know, how many times do you think an Apple store has somebody come in and they're like, oh, my keys don't work anymore? And they're like, oh, semen. 56 times a day. I'd say a good amount. Because I know somebody that had to go get there. They're like, oh, I uh, shot a load and now my F just doesn't work. The F doesn't work. The shot a load on the F. Jesus Christ. Dude, as long as the P button works, you're good. Yeah, dude. Like, what, what do you need an F for? What are you going to type it, out? Friday? F key? Dude. Just spell fuck. So my, my face was like an F key. I just yeah. F keyed all over my fucking F-keyed. face. F keyed. F keyed sounds kind of kinky, though. F keyed all over that fucking delete button. Oof. You know man. Oof. That little backspace. Mm. Hey, little alt delete. Um, fucking damn, blanket, bro. Dude. I mean, it happens. Yeah, I mean, he didn't really. He just like told us. He didn't really ask for anything. Yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, it's also funny to come in a blanket every single time. It's pretty. You cool. know what I mean? Is it better to come on the floor or a blanket? Don't even. What? <laughs> blanket. What? Blanket. No. You wrap it up like a little Chipotle burrito after. Now we're talking. 
Now we are talking. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yo, I think we're out of time, bro. But we are not out of time to plug. Patreon, hey! October 9th. Patreon, October Only 3,000. Only. And this podcast has been low-key booming lately. It's been booming. So this 3,000 going to go very quick. Um, So be our biggest fans and fucking get on that shit, bro. The link will be in the goddamn YouTube. Horse hooves. Uh. Love y'all. We're going to give it to you.